Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Kamal Tajuddin bin Kamal Razamil with an ID of 2019-310425. So, we were assigned to solve one question related to foreign series. And as a group team member of three, I was assigned to do the question 1A, which is to sketch the graph of function in the interval of negative 5 to 3. So, the function is defined as the first function is pi and the interval is between negative 1 to 1. And the, and the second function is pi x in, to the break, uh, in the bracket of x divide, uh, minus by 3 to the power of 2 divided by 4. And this function uh, uh, are between the interval of 1, 2, 3. So, uh, moving forward to the graph as shown in the background, you can see that um, uh, the, the graph is having a two period. Uh, and you can see from, it started at negative uh, 5 to negative 3 with a constant of pi, while at negative 3 to negative 1 is having a parabola shape of U shape, where you can see this is due to the fact that the equation is a quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation will produce a quadratic graph. So, this is happening from negative 1 to 1, uh, where the uh, it is also a constant of pi, and from 1 to negative uh, from 1 to 3 is a quadratic graph, which is uh, a parabola shape of a U shape. So how can I get this? The first equation, as you can see, is a constant, so I don't I don't have to make any uh, calculation. While the second equation is, you can see that the function. Uh, is uh, shown is uh, is equal to the first function if uh, we substitute the number uh, one into the equation, it will produce a pi. Uh, for number two, uh, we substitute to the equation, it will it, it will produce a pi over two. While the the number three, uh, if we substitute to the function, it will produce to zero. So this is how I get my answer for question one a. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, my name is Omar Shazad, so I will present you how to answer the question for the question B as as to uh, find the square upon the Fourier series, and we know that the function is a over two plus summation of a n cos and pi of l x plus b n sine and pi of l x. So for a over we use this. Uh, equation one over l related from the pair to l function of x dx. Uh, we just put the uh, first function and second function in the integration. So we integrate for one, then we give one to one, pi, and then one to three for function two, uh, pi x, x minus three power of two of four. So for the uh, rule of solution, uh, I bring out pi over four first and then just uh, let's spend the uh, x minus 3 power of 2. And then after the uh, spend, uh, and bring out pi over 4, I just bring 1 over 2 inside, and then I just can uh, integrate. Uh, bring 1 over 2 to be integrated. Then after integrate, just uh, so integrate the value of integration inside the function, and then we have financial. 3 over 2 pi. This is for AO only. And then for AN, we use the function, we use the equation 1 over L, integrate function x cos n pi over L x dx. So for the function, we have 2, function y function 2, also we need to spend from this equation. And then after we put the value in the equation, uh, same as before. I bring out pi over 4 and then expand the uh, x minus 3 power of 2. So that I times with 1 over 2 from outside to inside. And we integrate. For the integration, uh, u we take pi over 2 and then v we take cos and pi over 2. For cos, we differentiate, we get sine and pi over 2 divided by n pi over 2. So the uh, the u from this to this is positive. Yeah.
uh, for the second function, we get the x power of a minus 6 x power of 2 plus 9 x for the u and the v, we get cosine pi of 2 x. So of course, we differentiate we get sine and then we differentiate again. Again, get negative cos, differentiate again, negative sine and then we get cos again. So for the u, we will differentiate until we get 0. That's really stop. Then uh, after find the value u and v, we put the value in the function okay and then uh after we put the value in function we substitute the value of integrate then from function one we have negative one and one for function two we have three and one so we we'll just uh, substitute the value and then after substitute the value we will have this so after we have this we can simplify the answer i think we have uh this simplified function uh this one 6 divided by n power of 3 pi power of 2 sine plus sine. And for this sine plus sine, you can use, uh, you can apply sum to product. And then from sum to product, we can we have this uh, function 2 sine x plus y of 2 cos x minus y of 2. Also, for this cos plus cos, we become 2 cos x plus y over 2 cos x minus y of 2. So for this, we just uh, repeat the, we just uh, simplify the answer, and then after simplify, we can get find out also for n. And uh, that's where we go to the end. Uh, it's just same as at n, but the equation is 1 over l, function of x sine n by over 2 x dx. So we have the function, just put the, the first function as a function, uh, repeat the same, but this is different. Uh, and then you and V. Uh, v means that from sine and by root. So, uh, differentiate from sine, we get negative cos. Next, we get negative sine, and then if you come to cos, we will be back to sine again. Sine from. Then we get it. Let's put it in the function, uh, substitute the value of the rate, and then to can press the parameter, uh, we get this answer, and then simplify the answer. Again, apply sum to product because we have cos plus cos, and then uh, from in this, in here, we get sine minus sine. So for the cos plus cos, we get cos x plus y over 2, cos x minus y over 2. For sine minus sine, we get 2 sine x minus y over 2, cos x plus y over 2. Uh, after, the, after that, we uh, simplify the answer, then we get final answer 1 over n cos n pi over 2 12 over 2, 3 pi power of 2 cos n pi cos n pi over 2 minus uh, this is my mistake. For this 12 times 2, we get 24, 24 over 10 power of 4 pi over 3, power of 3, and then sign n pi over 2 cos n pi over 2. And start from the end. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Irfan Zikri bin Muhammad Fairahal. I am tasked to answer question C. The waveform of a periodic function fx has a period of 2 and function values over 1 cycle as given in the following table. Given that A2 is 0 0.279 and B1 is negative 0 0.479, Determine the Fourier series of for fx in the standard form until the second harmony. All calculations must be in three decimal places. This is the table for x naught r, y r, y r cos x r, y r sine to x r. And this is the summation of y r, y r cos x r, and y y r sine s sine to x r. For A1, the formula is 1 over 2 multiplied with summation of yr cos xr and the answer is negative 0 0.167. For A2, it is given in the question, it is 0 0.279. For B1, it is 0 point, negative 0 0.479. And for B2, the formula is 1 over 2 multiplied with the summation of yr sine to xr and the answer is negative 1.130. For C, C0, the formula is 1 over 12 multiplied with the summation of 
y r and the answer is 1.346 for c1 the formula is set a1 power 2 plus b1 power 2 and the answer is 0 0.507 and for c2 the formula is set a2 power 2 plus b2 power 2 and the answer is 1.164 Next, we calculate the angle for A1, for alpha 1, the formula is inverse of 10, A1 over B1, we get 19.2 to 1. The angle is positive, so it is counterclockwise rotation. To get the real angle, we need to plus this 180 and the answer is 199.2 to 1. For alpha 2, the formula is inverse of 10, A2 over B2, and the answer is negative what? Negative 13.869. This is, uh, the, ang the angle is negative, so it is clockwise rotation. To get the real angle, 180 minus 13.869, and the answer is 166.131. For the various series, Answer it is 1.346 plus 0 0.507 sine x plus 199.221 plus 1.164 sine 2x plus 166.131 plus 12. That's all from me. Thank you.